So I'm going to show you how to create your assessment in USA Test Prep and assign it if you've never done so before. So the first thing to make sure is in USA Test Prep, you do have a class. I made a temporary class for right now that I just named and I assigned one student to it. But of course, you'll have um, your own classes set up in USA Test Prep. So the first thing you want to do is go to assessments and we're going to create a new assessment. So in here, we're going to name it. So we're going to do interim algebra one practice. So I'm going to make an algebra one um, interim, spell algebra, <laughs> and I'm going to show you how to assign it. So you have to select which test you're going to assign it to. So it is connected to the algebra one EOC. Share assessment. You're going to want to click yes here. What this means is that other teachers in our, um, our school can see this assessment. It doesn't mean that their students have it. It just means they have access to it. Um, allow students to view items upon results. This is completely up to you. If you plan on giving it again, I probably would select no. Um, if you want them to see and they're not going to get another shot, then you can select yes. Allow a calculator. I usually do. I always allow students to view it in Spanish should they choose. Text-to-speech is a yes. Display questions in random order. This is completely up to you, but I so um, if you do random order, everyone will be different. If you do no and they see their results, you allow them to view the results, then you can go over a, um, a certain question. So if you say we're going to go over question six, they're all the same question. Number of answers, so you can do ABC or ABCD. So then we'll do continue. So there are pre-built. Um, so for this, this selects the questions for you. I personally, I always choose my questions. So in the Algebra 1 EOC, there are three domains. Um, I'm going to select the first domain, and then all the standards are going to pop up. Essay means short answer, and then if it says QU, that means that you've used that question on a previous assessment. So um, I, I'm just going to say my first standard is here. You can select the standard. And then these are all the questions available in that standard. So you can select a couple if you want to see the question from here. That doesn't show you the answers. I'll show you how to see that. You can select how you want it. Popularity. These are the questions that most teachers in USA Test Prep are selecting. Difficulty. Be okay. Or a short answer. So I can select popularity. Again, these are questions that I've used in a previous assessment. So it's going to tell me already that I have. To view the question, you just select the question and it will show the answers that are provided to them. To add it to your assessment, you can click right on here. So we're just going to go ahead and add this to the assessment and go to the next question. And we'll add this one as well. We'll add three questions is what we'll do. So then you just click submit. So submit. <laughs> So I have three questions. It shows up here as well. I've selected three. If you minimize the standard, it tells you here that you've selected three, and you can select based on the standards that are in your interim. To add to another domain, you click here, and you, I can click the second domain, and it'll show the new standards. So I'm going to keep with the same three questions. I'm just going to go to continue. So I usually don't add favorite questions. Performance tests, these are questions, these typical questions require more than one thing. It's not just A, B, C, D. It could be drag and drop. It could be um, find the pair. It could be ordering them. It does manually grade it for you. For the two part, same thing. Um, so this allows more of a word problem. And then free response does not grade itself. You would grade that one as well. So I, I'm not adding a free response just for this example. My preview is going to show me um, my questions. I can um, reorder them if I want to. I can remove the question. Um, if I needed to add more questions or wanted to change it, you can just go right back to this tab where it says questions. So I'm going to go ahead and save this assessment. Now, when you create the assessment under assessments, that doesn't mean that it's been assigned to any student. So they're still not going to see it. So once it's created, now we're going to assign it. So you can click on assign this assessment. Then one activity is what I selected, and I'm going to select my interim class with my one student. You can select a note in here for them to read, do your best, it's due by Friday, um, anything like that. You can put that in there, and then we're going to click on continue. So 
So I want to make sure that this is the assessment I'm assigning. So I made the interim practice. I don't have any students that have completed it just yet. Um, I can name, so even though the assessments name this, I do not have to name my quiz that. So this is the assignment. So let's say I just made this. I can name this interim one. And then if you, I mean, you could put the date if you wanted to, the day you were assessing it. And it is an assessment. So I'm going to name this interim one practice. Then you're going to go all the way down to continue. All right. So this is the start date. This is the date that you're going to place for the students to start seeing the assessment. The due date is going to show up when it's due. It does not mean that the students um, can't see it after the due date. It'll just start showing as class due after that. To have them no longer see it, you do have to lock the assignment. And I can show you how to do that. The suggested time limit, you can select this if you wanted a time limit. Again, it's a suggested, and it will tell you here. Um, it'll just display in a color. It won't stop them. So, for example, if you think that the students should finish the three questions in 30 minutes, when you pull a report, the students will show up, their, their time will show up in pink if they took longer than 30 minutes. Minimum score, this is, if you select this, that means it will give them unlimited attempts, and they can keep attempting it allow multiple attempts. So right now for their interim, you're gonna set it up as one attempt. Allow students to retry missed items. This is where we're talking where I can select yes. When it comes to this, something super important to tell your students, they will have the opportunity to retry their missed questions and you will be able to pull the report with the grade that will show before they attempt, they retry their missed questions and after. However, they will only be able to retry their missed items immediately after the assessment. If they close out of USA Test Prep for any reason, or if their computer, uh, if, or if something happens and they close the tab by accident, they will not be have, or they will not be able to retry their missed items. So that is something super important to let them know. It all has to be done in one sitting. You can pull, you can select two temps. Um, so retry. It says it's been disabled because we're allowing multiple attempts. So when you have something like this, you will be also able to pull the report in comparison, um, the first attempt versus the second one. And based on how we set it up, they weren't able to see their answers at the end. They could just see their score. So for this, what I'm going to select here is I'm gonna do one attempt and I want them to retry their missed items immediately after they take their assessment. And then I'm gonna click on save assignment. So once you click on save assignment, the students will see it. In order to lock the assignment, oh, please use a valid date, I'm so sorry. So we'll just do next Monday. And we'll be due Wednesday, this is a total practice. So I'll do save assignment. And now when you see it, it's here. So I assigned it to one student. In order to lock it so that the students are no longer have access to it, you would select this button. So once you have it here, this is locked and the student will not have access to it anymore. They will still see it, however, it will show locked. You can immediately unlock it as well. 